from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News at 11 p.m. Tonight, a dog goes on the attack once again, leaving a child seriously injured. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live in Riverside with details. Christy. Yes, Suzanne, it's not the first time the dog has attacked, and Animal Services says this time the victim was an 18-month-old girl who had serious injuries to her face, possibly even her eye. The dog's owner is the little girl's grandmother. We found her tonight. She didn't want to talk, but the family tells us the toddler will be okay. He was the beloved pet, Animal Services says his owner just didn't want to believe was dangerous. Two years ago, Patron, who officers describe as an 11-year-old pit bull, bit the his owner's grandchild. Then Friday, the dog attacked again, this time mauling another grandchild who's just 18 months old. I just heard a kid screaming and crying. That was about it. Yeah, I mean, really loudly screaming? Yeah, continuously, like, just keep crying and crying and crying. So I don't know what was going on. So I just seen all the cops out there. And the Riverside County Department of Animal Services says this photo was taken two years ago after the first attack at the home on Fern Street in Riverside. The bites were serious enough for them to ask for a hearing, hoping to get an order to put down the dog. Instead, the owner was allowed to keep Patron, but had a long list of conditions. A lot of the times, the people that have a dangerous animal necessarily don't they don't perceive the dog for what it is and the danger that it is, so they don't take the proper steps and the proper precautions. This time, though, Animal Services says there was no saving Patron, and his owner didn't even try, surrendering him to officers who have now put him down. Neighbors tell us Patron had been with the family for as long as they can remember, and they say they rarely saw him, that he was mostly kept inside. Animal Services says they are still investigating, but say it's possible the grandmother could face charges. Live in Riverside, Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Christy. We have breaking news. Torrance police just posted this photo, hoping to find the parents of this little boy. Officers say he wandered into a donut shop tonight. He told them his name is John Kevin. Mm. He's six years old and in first grade. If you recognize this little boy, you're asked to call Torrance Police. Let's hope he finds his parents yeah. soon. A 22-year-old Lancaster man has been killed in a hit-and-run accident, and it was caught on camera. It happened early this morning on Lancaster Boulevard near Elm Avenue. CBS 2's Chris Holmstrom spoke with the man's grieving family. He loved people. All athletes. A heartbroken mother remembering her son, 22 year old Rodney Richard. He was killed in a hit and run in downtown Lancaster. I went to the hospital and the um, doctor said they did everything they could do for my son. Surveillance video shows what happened. It was around 2 a.m. on Saturday. You could see Richard go into the middle of the street. As he puts his hands up in the air, the driver of the white truck slams right into him. He didn't move. Once he hit the ground, he didn't, get, he didn't move at all. Jason Sanchez was there. He says Richard was intoxicated and had just been kicked out of a nearby lounge. I guess he got in a fight with security there and then came up to the bar. He had a bottle of alcohol in his hand. They told him he had to leave the property. And that's when he went across the street. Deputies say the driver of the white truck was going well over the posted 15 mile per hour speed limit when Richard was hit. They go on to say the driver then stopped, but then took off. We have to forgive him. I mean, we really have to forgive him. The family now using prayer for support and candles and balloons to remember him. I just want my baby to know I love him and I'll see him again. And they have these words for whoever killed him. You come and you admit to what you've done because you just caused a bad scene. Like, you know, you put, you broke my mom's heart. You broke her heart. And detectives say the suspect vehicle was either a white Chevrolet or white Dodge. As for the family, they have set up a GoFundMe account to help pay for the funeral. Reporting from Lancaster, I'm Chris Holmstrom, CBS 2 News. Police are prepared to hear from more victims as word spreads of an arrest on the Cal State Northridge campus. Police arrested 19-year-old Davis Moreno Jaime yesterday. Investigator, investigators rather say multiple people have accused Moreno Jaime of assaults that happened between April of 2017 and July of this year, both on and off campus. When I saw the post on Twitter, I was like, no way, like that's so close to like home. The one thing that we don't want to do is try and sweep these issues under the rug because they are major issues and they are happening. 
Police are urging other victims to come forward, even if they don't want to be part of the criminal case. Developing news, the Mendocino complex fire is now one of the largest in state history. It's jumped to nearly 230,000 acres. It's only 32% contained. Cal Fire issued new evacuation orders tonight for people who live in two counties near that fire. Also tonight, the governor's office says the White House has approved a request for a presidential major disaster declaration because of the California wildfires. First Lady Melania Trump is breaking with her husband when it comes to new L.A. Laker LeBron James. Mrs. Trump is praising his charity work one day after the president sent a tweet bashing the NBA champs intelligence. Through a spokesperson, the first lady said James is, quote, working to do good things and that she would be willing to visit the new school he opened in Ohio. In an interview aired this week the on CNN, kind of James us. drew the president's um, ire when he accused President Trump of dividing America. Trump tweeted, LeBron James was just interviewed by the dumbest man on television, Don Lemon. He made LeBron look smart, which isn't easy to do. Well, tonight, Don Lemon tweeted this response, writing, Who's the real dummy? A man who puts kids in classrooms or one who puts kids in cages? Hashtag the best. And Lakers owner Jeannie Buss waited on the controversy in a statement today that read in part, We could not be more proud to have LeBron James as part of our Lakers family. He is an incredibly thoughtful and intelligent leader and clearly appreciates the power that sports has to unite communities and inspire the world to be a better place. President Trump is in James' home state of Ohio tonight at a rally, but instead of talking about the basketball superstar, he talked about South L.A. Congresswoman Maxine Waters. So Maxine Waters is leading the charge. Maxine, she's a real beauty. Maxine, a seriously low IQ person. Seriously. The president and the congresswoman have been trading insults for months. He's often criticized her intelligence, and she has called him Don the Con Man. A large right-wing demonstration in Portland, Oregon, turned violent when left-wing activists showed up. Police charged protesters who refused to disperse. At one point, an officer tried to take a sign away from a woman and shoved her to the ground. Several people were arrested. A history-making Hollywood movie coming up. Jeff. Hashtag gold open a push for box office success. That's 25 years in the making. The story straight ahead. And I've got your weather story coming up as we are tracking some very hot temperatures coming up. I'll let you know when we can expect it. Plus, a big announcement from actor Patrick Stewart that's sure to make Trekkies happy.